we've always talked about ashish the importance of asset allocation uh, and uh, you know rather than going putting all your money in just one asset class whether it's equity or it's debt or you know which includes fixed income which is what people tend to do is this the time when actually the importance of asset allocation is coming out to the fore because uh, imagine if you were say 60 40 60 in equity and say 40 in debt while you've seen a very sharp cut yeah. in equity uh, the same is not true as far as debt is concerned and that's probably cushioned uh, the yeah. fall um, and there's enough data to suggest that you know if you had done an asset allocation you would have probably performed much better on your portfolio than if you were only in one particular asset class uh yeah. is this the time where for people who have not thought of this and preferred yeah. to go into only one asset class uh, it's the right time to tell them of the importance of asset allocation how is that playing out yes you know every once in a while like i said every once in 5 years or 10 years uh, when the market actually uh, goes down this uh, like this is when you really realize uh, that you know had you actually balanced your portfolio across asset classes may it be equity may it be fixed income may it be gold may it be international equity or whatever the asset classes one can consult uh, with their advisors i think these are the times when you realize uh, the importance uh, for two reasons first is that when the market falls obviously a balanced portfolio between debt equity etc that obviously falls lesser and now the second part which is actually even more important which is that when the asset classes when it falls in value when equity falls in value at least if you have some money in debt on the side you'll be able to withdraw something from debt and then you'll be able to take advantage of lower uh, equity values so it's a double whammy a lot of times if you are not well allocated it can be double whammy because you fall more and second you can't even uh, take advantage of the lower prices because everybody doesn't have money lying in their current account and saving account so how are they going to take benefit of these prices the second thing is exactly when these things happen Uh, investors tend to ask portfolio managers like us that why weren't you holding cash now look uh, what debt what equity what is to be owned in clients portfolios we are actually quite opaque to what the end client has in terms of his allocation and frankly you know when the market travels from 12000 to 7500 everybody thinks why didn't you hold cash but when 7500 becomes 9000 the way it's becoming now then again we will look foolish so we don't want to get whipsawed on both sides i think taking cash calls taking asset allocation calls should not be expected from an equity fund and lastly how i would put it is that the least you can do is then to be in a balanced advantage or a dynamic fund you know because then uh, nobody is to get into asset allocation these are all calibrated with the certain indicators of valuation and the equity exposure gets calibrated automatically so that's the least you can do actually if you at least don't do asset allocation appropriately Always a pleasure talking to you Ashish Samaya thank you very much uh, for joining us here on the money mile and wish you good luck stay safe uh, and all the very best thank you for having me thank you mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully